Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're going to have an interesting discussion today. You see, a few days ago, Lore Master of Sotek was streaming and he came across something rather weird. A goblin big boss on a wolf chariot, which might not sound too interesting, but keep in mind that this seems to be a new mount option for the goblin big bosses. Now, this isn't the direct live build, it's actually what's in Warhammer 3, and everyone has access to this, we just can't play as the greenskins, so this came to a very big surprise. I've tried to replicate this myself to get a better image, but unfortunately, since the greenskin minor factions are so few in the Warhammer 3 map, and they often get destroyed very, very early on, it's been quite difficult to do so. I even tried to play at Lawmaster's pace, where I was playing as Greasers and being quite slow to allow for the goblin and orcs there to get a bit better, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, they just died out. It's a shame, because a better quality image would have just been helpful. However, this is something rather exciting to talk about, as obviously, right now, the goblin big bosses in Warhammer 2 only have access to the wolf mount, the normal wolf, and, of course, a giant spider. This is a completely new mount, and what we can see is that it obviously does take assets from Grom's wolf mount, and that kind of makes sense, because it's pretty much the same thing, just scaled down, and to Mr. Wolves. Now, the best thing I can think of is the fact that Creative Assembly likely are already working for DLC, which does make sense considering the fact that they do have multiple teams and so on, there is a DLC team, but I find it rather curious that it might be Greenskins, because, well, it doesn't make sense to bring Greenskins into the game just yet, considering that they've already had a pretty good rework, so what else could be done for them? The mount itself was never really highly requested as far as I'm aware. As far as I think, there is also a chariot for the big boss in the term of a Mod, so it's not like we were really missing anything, but I do have a little theory that might hold a bit of weight. You see, of course, we're expecting the Chaos Dwarves eventually, and with DLC normally comes some sort of FLC too. So this is what I'm more or less thinking, and I could be right. So we get the Chaos Dwarves as a paid-for DLC that's expected. That's normally first, I'd imagine, as for the past two games, the first DLC has always been a race pack. Then perhaps a Greenskin Legendary Lord just to bring the Greenskins in as a playable faction. Keep in mind they tried to bring all the Game 1 races into Game 2, but that wasn't doable because, well, time constraints and DLC and so on. So maybe they're trying to get that to be able to be done very early on. So maybe Morglum Next Snapper would be cool as he's a Black Orc. He's got history with the Chaos Dwarves, all Black Orcs do, and he's a bit of a rival to, say for example, Grimgore Ironhide and so on later on in the future. The character and his tribe are based in the Darklands when it comes to lore, so yeah, you could easily put them there. We already know that there's some Orc factions there, minor factions at the very least. And then the Big Boss Chariot could literally be a Total War Axis FLC, so you've got all bases covered, which is something they normally try to do. They've done that for a past few DLCs too, so it's not out of the realm question. I'd say this makes a lot of sense and I've spoken to some other creators and they think that this might be the same way. However, it could literally be the case of maybe this was a DLC unit, maybe this was something that they just forgot to remove from the build. I'm imagining that the Chaos Dwarves and other DLC already are planned and they've probably done a decent amount of work on them as getting some stuff done early does help, but I don't know if this would be a DLC unit. Well, it wouldn't because it's a mount option, but it is very curious considering that, well, you know, greenskins are pretty much done. They're missing characters. They're missing a lot of characters. They're missing a few unique things, but I wouldn't expect there to be a DLC for them anytime soon considering it would probably be way too early for DLC versus DLC. I mean, we don't even have the Immortal Empires campaign map just yet, so yeah. I mean, for all we know, they could be planning cross-game DLC right from the very beginning, and Morglum Neck Snapper could be the character, or Golfang Rockgut, and so on. I'm just going through just what made sense, because he is actually in the Darklands. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, and let's start a bit of a discussion, as, yeah, this does require a lot of talking about. I don't know what this could literally be.